Hey, so this is an update on how the second week of doing the weekly five goals has gone. I am going to be doing this as quickly as possible, so I'm sorry if it seems a little bit rushed, but I literally need to leave for college in 20 minutes. So I'm going to be filming this and leaving. I've also got last week's list so I can tick all the ones off that I've done. Tried to print off the uh, list for this week, but for some reason the printer's not working. I think it's because we've been having some internet issues. But I don't have time to try and deal with that, so... We're just going to get into it. So the first one is the one that was carried over from last week, which was to go to sleep before 11pm and wake up before 9am every day. I can tell you now, that one didn't work. It was going quite well until about three days ago. And then, for some reason, it just went... I've still been managing to get up before 9am, but going to sleep before 11 has been difficult. I think that Thursday was the first day where that sort of messed up because I was ill. So I didn't get to sleep until about 12am. And then I woke up for college on Thursday and I felt like I'd been hit by a train, literally could not get up and fell asleep until about 1.30pm. So that were a complete write off. To be fair, I wore ill, but the other days it's just been a struggle and I don't know if it was because that sort of set off the pattern that I've been making. But yeah, so that one will be carried over to next week. Cross on that one. The next one was to eat three meals a day every day. And because of the last one, that one also messed up because I'd walk up after dinner time. So I'd obviously not had time for breakfast. So that one again will be carried on for this week. Two big blue crosses, not going well so far. The third one was to get an assignment for college completed. I did have a particular one in mind, that did not go to plan and I'll explain why and I'll explain what, the, I'm going to change the goal slightly, like keep it but change it. So that was one assignment but the week that I went back to college when I'd set this goal for myself, I found out that we'd be starting this like big project thing so we need to be finishing every assignment that we'd started because until we finish those assignments we can't start this big project thing. And the later we started, the worse off it's going to be. So the days that I was in college, I was focusing more on the work of the tutors that I was sat with so that I could get a little bit of sort of input with that and make sure that I'm doing it right and make sure I get as much as that as possible. So I'm going to be keeping that but changing it and I'll explain that when I talk about my goals for this week. Can't really say I did that. Can't really say I didn't do it. So it's just kind of a line. The third one was to do one hour or one piece of work every day, depending on the size of the piece of work. I managed that but concentration was very hard. I struggle with concentration at college anyway when I'm there to do work and it's more of a work based environment so at home it was a lot harder. I did manage to do it though and I got a bit extra done while I was at home but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on doing it anyway and do as much work at home as possible but I think what I'm going to do is break it up into four 15 minute sessions rather than one whole big hour one because the longer the amount of time that I have to sit and focus on something the worse my concentration gets so I think do it in a 15 minute burst of just constant work and like five ten minutes to go and do something or just breaking it up across the day might just help me out a little bit get more concentration more focus being more productive in the time that i'm using to do work so there's a tick on that one because i did do that every day and the last one was to read at least two chapters or 30 pages of the book every day depending on how this book is sort of set out so i'm not set out in chapters so i actually found that quite easy and it was actually really enjoyable which is weird for me but i think it was the type of book that i was reading so i was reading Gonna go like, stop sniffing the door. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think it was the type of book that I'm reading. So I'm reading Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling. So that's in the Harry Potter universe, and it links in quite a lot with that. So it is something that I knew that I would enjoy. But yeah, I've like got the tiniest little bit left to read of that. I've nearly finished it because it's in script form. It's not as much like block full pages of Ryan, so it's a lot easier for me to read. And also, it means that it doesn't take as long to read a book because sometimes it doesn't really sink in, so I have to reread lines over and over again for it to really understand and for it to get in my head. That's the last one ticked off, so that's two that I didn't do that I will be carrying over, and one that I don't really know if I did, and then two that I did definitely do. Right, so on to this week's Weekly Five. This is actually Monday, because I'm going to college, so yesterday was part of it, so I have already started these ones. The first one is to smoke five or less cigarettes every day. I had a similar goal to this in my first week, which was to smoke nine or less, which I did easily. I think I smoked as many as seven, and that was for one day. And I found that if I didn't make the nine in the morning, I didn't smoke the nine. It was the same when I smoked pre-rolled cigarettes. I had a packet in my pocket, so I could just get one out and it would ease and convenience and just bore them. If it's not there in front of you, you don't think about it because you don't see it. So, But yeah, I didn't actually set another goal, I just kind of figured I'd break it down. But I've smoked as many as about six or seven since then anyway. So I figured I might as well carry on doing the goals to cut down. But if I know I'm smoking like six, then maybe just try and smoke five. And then start from there. Because I think, again, like I say, I don't even smoke 
10 cigarettes most days. If I do, I smoke up to 10. I don't smoke any more than that, so. Yeah, yesterday I had five cigarettes, absolutely fine. And I had one cigarette today when I was eating my breakfast. I've got four made for when I go to college, so I'll be having two breaks and a dinner break. So I probably have one on each of them, and maybe when I leave, or probably more likely when I get home after like tea or something. The second one is to do home exercises every day. I have been doing this, but I've been struggling a little bit with keeping up with it and not doing like all the things to get distracted and then being like oh yeah I'll take it off later and then it being like late at night and I've got to go up to bed and they're not done or trying to rush them and then feeling like really tired out so I'm doing them every day I did them all yesterday I've done a couple this morning I'll have more to do when I get home it's not a lot and it's not like really hard exercises because I am unfit I'm not used to exercising so I have to do like little and often and then build it up once that becomes a little bit easier and sort of build up stamina. It's literally like 30 sit-ups in sets of 10, so like with a couple of minutes break between to let me sort of rejuvenate. How a fucking weird word. And then like 50 star jumps, lunges, squats, running up and down stairs, running on the spot, that sort of thing. Just a few ones through the day and like I say I'm going to increase them as well. Right, so on to the assignment one. My last goal as I put the, I'm not really sure if I did it or not, was to get one specific assignment finished for college. Now, like I said, found out last week in college that we'll be starting this big project thing, which is like, I don't know, I think it's over a couple of months, but we have to have all of our work and assignments signed off by the tutors and finished before we can start that. And it's crucial that we start that as soon as possible. So like, if we're not finished by the start date, be done within a couple of days to a week, because the more missed, the worse it's going to be and the harder it's going to be. So last week I had six pieces of work that I needed to finish. One was like two drawings which one piece of work, then two assignments for one tutor and it's only a little bit like left. Not a lot to do, we'll probably bash those out in an hour or two. Another assignment that was like a little bit, another assignment that was a little bit left to do and then one whole assignment. So I've not started it because I actually ended up having three Mondays in a row off because I just happened to be ill three Mondays which was crap for just losing three of two tutors lessons but last week i went in on friday because i go in on fridays to get extra attendance and i actually managed to start and complete the assignment that i'd not even started so that's the biggest chunk of work out of the way and all of this week is going to be focused on getting those bits of work done so that's my goal to finish that because we will be starting the bigger sort of project thing the following monday so that is a big one that I need to do that's really really important and then obviously I've dragged over to eat three meals a day which yesterday I did today I will because I've had breakfast which is normally the one that I would miss out if any so I think as long as I sort out my sleep the three meals thing will be easy because it's always breakfast that I miss out dinner and tea I always have and then the last one is to sleep to go to bed before 11 p.m and wake up before 9 a.m i can say that last night slash this morning i went to sleep at about half past two and that wasn't through choice that was just through me lying there and not being able to sleep at all and that's probably down to the fact that the doctor said to try and reduce my sleeping tablets and get off of them which i think were a good idea anyway but i only took one instead of two last night and i did really struggle to get to sleep so i think what i'm gonna do that doesn't count simply because I changed my sleeping tablets so I think that was definitely the cause of that I've never since I've started doing this been to sleep at half past two in the morning that was just bad so I think we can write that one off as bad doctor advice obviously I'm up before nine this morning because it's currently one minute to eight I'm supposed to be leaving at eight so I'm gonna leave in a couple of minutes late and I've got to be at college for nine so I woke up at six pretty sure that's before nine I think I did all right with that one and yeah, that's how last week's goals went. Those are this week's goals. Sorry I didn't have them printed out. I will have them printed out to tick them off for the next one and have, hopefully, have the other ones printed out as well. But again, I will update you next week on how these ones went and with my new weekly goals. So thanks for watching. Come on my journey. I don't first see you in the next video. Bye.